today we have the SHS grenade in the D Boys M203. I'm gonna see if it can make it over to that fence. The grenade's loaded up with about 70 BBs. As you can see, terrible spread, although some only made it a few foot, some were 0.2s, some were 0.25s. One only made it a few foot, 0.25s. The one that made it over to the fence, 0.2s. This time we're pushing it to the extreme a bit. We're going to load up 8.12 gram BBs. See how far they go. Ah. So we can see only one BB hit the, uh, the cardboard box I've set up. And if it even penetrated, I don't know. Uh, as you can see, there's one penetration, that's all we got. So that's not great, but for a CQB weapon, not too bad either. Okay, so this is going to be the point blank penetration test again. SHS grenade. It's not fully loaded, all 12 chambers with one BB in it. So they should all have a little bit more velocity. So let's load it up. And let's go. Let's fire. Oh, there we go. Now, as you can see, none of the BBs actually penetrated, but there are some marks there, so you would feel if you got hit by it, but not as much as if you got hit by a normal AEG. But one thing about the grenade launcher is definitely the looks. It looks beautiful. <laughs> uh, we're using Ultra Air ASG Green Gas. Does the job. And the shells are being filled to the max, so, you know, that's it. That's the power of the SHS. Tonight. I mean, most of these grenade launchers, you know, it depends on the actual shell, you know, and how well they fit inside the launcher, but it's all about the shell. So that's what's doing it all. Very short barrel, so very low range, and of course no hop-up. <laughs> Just a demonstration of anything that will fit in the barrel of this grenade launcher snug enough will shoot out. So it's just a gas cap with duct tape to make it fit snugger. Slide it in, put it back, fire. <laughs> Pretty disappointing, but if I spent more time making a heavier shell, slug sorry, it would have went further. <laughs> 